As you just saw, hundreds of homes in Panama City are gone. It's the same case in Mexico Beach. Meteorologist Mark Collins is here with new aerial images from NOAA, giving us some perspective on how different the area looks now. In the aftermath of Hurricane Michael, many of the residents that live along Mexico Beach still have no idea whether or not their home exists because those roads are still closed. NOAA posted today many aerial photos on this online tool that they'll be able to use, and even you too can see the damage in the wake of Hurricane Michael. Let's take a look here. This is Tyndall Air Force Base. You can see the rooftop to that hangar. That was before. After, it's not there any longer. All the debris spills across some of the runways there at that Air Force Base. Further down the coast into Mexico Beach we go. You see what looks like a beautiful white shoreline. You can see the pier there in downtown Mexico a Beach. After the storm comes through, everything is wiped out there, and that pier no longer exists. You can see this entire island just devastated. The debris goes everywhere, even in places that are the forest. Look at the lush pine forest here. You can see the marina, all of these boat docks, the boat ramp, and what's incredible is how far the boats were pushed inland with that surge. So here you can actually make out some of these boats pushed into the pine forest. So when you see something like this, you really get a sense of the magnitude of a storm because you can see how long the destruction is spread along the coastline. So obviously, taking it back home for our own perspective, what if something like this happened on Jacksonville Beach? Well, if we take a look at this map of the destruction, cut it out, I can superimpose it onto a map of Jacksonville Beach. And what we're gonna see here is that the debris would get pushed all the way here to Penman Road. So let's take a look here. This is what we just saw in Mexico Beach put it on top of Jacksonville Beach, and you would have all of the homes along 3rd Street wiped out. You would have the debris field pushed all the way back into Penman Road. Let's hope we never come across a situation like this, but using this NOAA online database, you get a better perspective of how strong storms are, and hopefully you too will evacuate if we get a storm like this.